Captain Brian Ferguson was inspired to join the Navy after seeing the original Top Gun movie years later. He worked as a consultant for the sequel that is now in theaters, and Captain Ferguson is joining us tonight. So great to have you on the program. We appreciate it. Um, I'm curious, both films, how close is it to the real thing of being up there in the air? Well, I'll tell you, on this, on this current film, it's, uh, it's as close as you can be uh, to being in an F-18, being on the boat in combat uh, without actually joining up and signing up, joining the Navy. Did they use real pilots for most of the film? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they were all uh, Navy pilots flying the, uh, flying the actors around real airplanes. Captain, tell us about your role and, and what you did. So I was one of the uh, technical advisors, and I was the uh, the Navy's aerial coordinator. So, in charge of uh, safety primarily, and we had a lot of robust uh, dynamic flying, as you can see in the movie. There's very little CGI; it's uh, it's entirely real flying. So when you see some of the flying, you realize that there's uh, there's quite a bit of deliberate risk management that had to occur, as well as uh, just kind of making sure the Navy's image was uh, was properly represented, uh, which I think we did that as well. What was it about that original movie that inspired you to sign up? Well, I, you know, all of it, it was iconic flying. It was, uh, you know, I think it was called uh, Fighter Pilot Rockstar Movie is, is how uh, Tony Scott originally described it. So the, the lighting, the sound, the, uh, the airplanes, everything about it was, was amazing. You could not watch that movie and not be inspired, uh, as, as was I. And, and frankly, quite a few of my colleagues that are in my, uh, you know, my, time, my timeline. Was there anything that the producers on the film wanted to try that you had to say, nope, we can't do that? You know, there were there were some things that were uh, creative visions that we we couldn't always necessarily get to exactly the creative vision due to safety or risk management. So we had to find a way to work together to uh, to ultimately get to a point where we could get almost, if not perfectly, what they wanted, just not necessarily the way they wanted going into it. But we had a great team working between the Navy and the industry, uh, and we always found a, a safe way to yes to do it. And I think you'll see uh, when you watch the film that the, the results were spectacular. Well, speaking of safety, Captain, I have always wanted to know this, and I didn't look it up beforehand, but a 4G inverted dive with a MiG-28, is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what that would be. Um, <laughs> It, it would be complicated, and you, you couldn't do it at two, two and a half meters, like you said. So, uh, <laughs> little Hollywood magic there. <laughs> uh, do you think that this second film, Captain, will have the impact that the first one did on people like you? I mean, created a renewed sense of um, pride in naval aviation and the military at large. I absolutely do. I think. Uh, I think it's. In fact, I'm already getting phone calls from from people who say. Uh, and, you know, so far it's people I know that say my son, my daughter watched the film and they would like to talk to you about a road or a path to naval aviation. So, you know, right there, I'm validated within the first week of the movie. And, you know, there were so many of us that worked on the movie. Uh, there were several technical advisors, uh, Captain Cummings, uh, Captain Slaughter, Captain Keith Lee, uh, the CEO of Top Gun at the time, uh, Commander Papiano. There was, it, was a, it was a cast of thousands, as we say. Uh, and we are all getting feedback in the form of people interested in wanting to do what we've done and that that is the uh, the great uh, that's the great feedback because that's what we we really want is the navy mm. and to your point the uh, uh showcasing what we do you know just for positive messaging and image and showing these amazing sailors and chiefs and and all the folks that are out there defending freedom every day and the families that uh you know that support that mm, incredible uh, captain is there one piece of advice that you would give people if they want to sign up after seeing that and they want to serve Sure, I'd say, uh, you know, have a vision. That's the, the first movie gave me a vision. It wasn't easy to get into the Navy. It's certainly not easy to become a fighter pilot, but it's it's achievable if you have a vision and a goal. So get that vision, get that goal, come, you know, come do what we do. It's the coolest job on the planet, you know, bar none. Uh, and, uh, you know, the obvious stuff, you know, stay out of trouble and listen to your parents and all those things. So, uh, yeah, just just get a, get a focus, get a goal and do it. Just don't let anybody tell you no. Great advice. Uh, thank you so much for giving us some of your time tonight. I'm going to see the movie this weekend, Captain Brian Ferguson. And more than anything, thank you for your service. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.